Well, everybody cares what other people think. That's a natural human flaw. But to dwell on it too much and where it takes priority in our lives, that's what we need to readjust. And I love that in the movie, young girls are reminded about what's really important, what we have control over and what we don't. Hi, everybody. I'm Cheryl Crisp from Movie Guide, and this is Coffee and Conversation with Maria. Maria, you star in Identity Crisis. It's a fun, funny, faith-based family comedy. Tell us about the movie. Well, I love being part of the movie. I think it's uh, great, especially because the, the attention has always been towards young people, you know, and what's cool, what's popular. And, you know, so I like that it's geared towards the teen college audience, um, but it really is a family film. And it's about identity and meaning and uh, especially a lot of young people having social media, they're always comparing themselves to others more readily than when you and I were coming up. You know, I think I would have been like even more insecure if I always knew what was going on in other people's lives and that temptation to compare. So I think it's just so well written by the Boylan sisters. And, and I was very proud to be part of it. I think it's a terrific film. Like you said, it's entertaining and funny and the messages are are right on. I love the, that you play a college professor and you point her to the Bible and to God to find her true identity and not the world. Can you talk about that? Oh, that's my favorite scene uh, in the movie. There's so many wonderful scenes, but I, I love that scene. And the girl is just so tormented, the character of Madison in the movie. She's so tormented by this focusing on her quote unquote imperfections. It's so sad because it's so subjective. So many people would look at her and say, are you kidding me? You're in a college. You're, you happen to be beautiful. You happen to be able-bodied. You happen to have uh, a mother and who loves you. And I mean, there's so many things that we need to be grateful for and thankful for. I just really love how the movie does not compromise on the truth of the message that the Boylan sisters wanted to uh, underscore, which is that you are beautifully, wonderfully, mysteriously made and embrace all those complexities in our humanity. But go ahead and ask the questions and, and cry out to God. And, and I believe that, that God does answer us when we truly, truly want to know. You know what? It takes courage to want to know. I love that this movie was created by the Bolin sisters and it's directed by Sherry Rigby. And so it's women empowering and helping other women and girls. Can you talk about that? That's just a lovely aspect to it. Um, Sherry did such a beautiful job. And this was during the depths of the COVID concerns where, I mean, she couldn't even approach me on set and we're all masked in between lines. And I had to get direction from her through the monitor. And But that's okay. You know, if you're committed to telling the story, you do what it takes. And and we did. And I do love that it's empowering girls because for some reason, I feel like women are getting, and men too, so many mixed messages. I love that the messaging here is truthfully what will be rewarding to a young woman. It really is such a waste of time, isn't it, to, to search for perfection. We'll never get it. We'll never get it. Then and it, again, it's such a subjective thing. And I like that she finally uh, realizes that at the end, you know, because we're a little older, we can look back and be like, like, I can tell my daughters that are in their one's 20, one's 18. I could just say with all this like confidence, like, oh, don't worry about that. And, you know, but really we need to remember that we were so insecure in so many ways, as well as being confident in others. And it's just part of the developmental process. And we need to remember that, I think, as adults. And when we see a movie like Identity Crisis, it helps us remember that we were once there too in many ways and to not just write it off as, oh, get a grip and focus on your studies and who cares what other people think? Well, everybody cares what other people think. That's a natural human flaw, I think, but, that, but to dwell on it too much and where it takes priority in our lives that's what we need to 
readjust. And I love that in the movie, young girls are reminded about what's really important, what they can work on, what they can't, what we have control over and what we don't. Maria, what would your older, more mature, confident self tell your younger, more insecure self? I would say, hey, you know this God you've heard about, the God of the Bible, scripture? He's right about everything. Don't waste your time. Look into what he's really about because he's for you. But for me, I would tell myself in a great big hurry, get to know this God that you've read about for real. Don't just believe the things that you've heard and because um, he's for us. He's for me. Why is it important for church and faith-based um, media and movies to get involved and address these serious topics from a faith-based perspective? Well, I think it's important because um, we believe that it's the truth. So um, everybody has a right to share their beliefs. Um, everybody has that freedom here in America, which is wonderful that we live in this wonderful country. But because as a Christian, I believe that God's love is for everybody. I get excited when somebody who might think that there's no hope for them, when they, especially a young person, when they are touched by something that they've seen or heard that is the truth about who God is, it encourages me because then there's hope for them. I think that's what love is when you want that the best for somebody. I've se I've had a wonderful reaction to identity crisis from all kinds of people that I know because it's a positive film, it's encouraging, a very special story and I think it's great that we as um people that want to tell stories that encourage and give hope especially to young girls. I think young boys need it too by the way. Um that we do that and that we're not afraid to to share and to put out our our um our creativity. Maria, you're best known for your starring role in the three-time Emmy award-winning series Wizards of Waverly Place and you have starred in a lot of um faith-based inspirational movies lately. Why is it important for you to be involved in faith projects? And, you know, I just started a few years ago uh, being in more and more, um, quote unquote, faith based films. To me, the, if the story is a good story, I want to do it. You know, there could be a faith based film that I don't think is well written that I don't want to be part of. There could be a, a film that has nothing to do with God, but it's the themes are good and the story is incredibly writ well written and even within the story, if I play a dark character, I don't have to play a nice woman all the time. You know what I mean? It's about the message. It's like scripture is full of painful stories. and But the but the whole message is the redemption of man, the love of God, the, the battle between good and evil. It's, it's timeless and it's what everybody's drawn to. But a, a great story is a great story. So I'm encouraged that there's this freedom for, and also a lot of a lot more support for great uh, faith-based stories to be told, whether it's overt or not. Um, I think it's terrific. And I think a lot of people are being um, encouraged and enlightened and informed and entertained, and it's all good. Your most important role is that of mother to your two daughters. What would you hope that they would feel about their true identity? That it would be grounded in the truth. We can trust that all things will work for good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Not that all things are good, as I'm sure you've heard, but that all things will work for good. I mean, he never lets go of us. So I would encourage them, and I do, to never let go of him. You know, that's the challenge of life, isn't it? For all of us is to, to trust. So that's what I would want for them to never let go of the truth of who God says that they are. Um, the movie is out now on streaming. And so it will go to lots more people. What is your hope for the film? 
Well, I hope that people get to rediscover it because um, it kind of got a little bit shadowed uh, with uh, COVID and we didn't get to, like I couldn't go to the premiere because of the Screen Actors Guild rules about when we were on this, we had COVID and the strike. Uh, so I couldn't promote it as much as I would have wanted to. And um, so I hope that people watch it with their teenagers and that they have parents and have wonderful, um, meaningful discussions about identity and purpose and that it encourages people, uh, young people. Um, I love that it takes place at, on college campus, on a college campus, because that's really where you are thrown to the world there to figure things out. And it's, I remember, it's like, wow, I'm supposed to be an adult and okay. And who am I? Who am I in comparison to all these people in my classroom all over the world? I remember loving that, it all being so new and fresh. So it really is a question of identity that actually overlaps a time in our lives when we really are asking those questions, which is those, you know, teenage college years right before we we become real adults. Um, so I would love for people to to revisit it and to talk about it and to enjoy it. I mean I love the I love everything about it. Because I have young daughters, you know, I'm exposed to what's cool. <laughs> so the it's a very entertaining, I love the music, I love the energy of it. More importantly, I love the, the message. If you enjoy videos that follow your values like ours and you want to help us continue, uh, go to movieguide.org slash donate because we're actually a nonprofit. You may not know that, but we're working in Hollywood every day to help families have more choices that follows their values. And also subscribe right now.